today, folks, we get to talk about Skyward Sword. That's right, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, one of the unforgotten, or I guess forgotten, Zelda games. Uh, it released on the Wii back in 2011, a year before the Wii U came out. But before we get into that, let's talk about our giveaway. That's right, we're giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. You you can get it for either PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch. To enter, all you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. You can do that on every single video to gain additional entries. Also, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. If we hit 50,000 subscribers before the month of November, uh, we will be giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch that month. All right, folks, let's get into the good stuff here. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is a game uh, that I feel is underappreciated and undervalued uh, in the Zelda series, and it's a game that actually ranks among one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. But there is an Amazon listing out there in the UK, at least there was, it's actually down at the time of making this video, but I did see it uh, yesterday, and I have a screenshot here for you guys. Um, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was listed for Switch, and it was actually updated one more time to say Nintendo Switch, uh, listed by Nintendo, and then taken out. So one of those accidental postings, uh, it was listed for uh, £69.99 or, or whatever, uh, so you know, actually like $90 USD, which makes you feel like maybe it's a special edition or, or something like that, but there was no images available with it. Uh, Obviously, uh, we have been wondering if Skyward Sword would ever get an HD treatment uh, because right now you're, you're seeing footage of Skyward Sword in HD, you know, running on an emulator, and obviously it looks really, really gorgeous. So it won't really take much for Nintendo to HDify this game. Uh, obviously, way more work was put into the Wind Waker, uh, and well, for obvious reasons, and then obviously even Twilight Princess had a little bit more work done to it than I feel like you would need to do to Skyward Sword. Now, uh, I always felt like if Skyward Sword did not come to Switch, that they would never HDify it because it was built around the Wiimote, and a lot of the stuff it was built around with the Wiimote wasn't the IR sensor. I know people always talk about the IR sensor uh, and, and all that with this game. It was actually built around the gyroscope inside the Wii Remote or inside the Wii Remote Plus. So the Switch could actually one-to-one -one practically uh, be ported and have the exact same controls. Now, if you want to know what about portable mode, obviously that's where they would need to decide how to map the buttons and all that jazz. It's been proven in emulators. You can map all of the motions to buttons or stick controls. So you can have like the right stick be the motion where you press up, down, left, right, et cetera, et cetera, whatever direction. I think there was eight different directions you could swipe the sword. So yeah, it can be done. Uh, it's up to Nintendo to decide, obviously, if they want to do it, when they're going to do it. And if this is the game coming to Switch, uh, that would be potentially a nice release this holiday season. Uh, maybe to tandem up with the Super Mario 3D World or the Super Mario uh, All-Star Collection Pack. Uh, because it would uh, be a game that's probably going to sell like Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is up to 5 million copies sold. Uh, there's no reason to n think that Skyward Sword couldn't come close to that as well. Now, Skyward Sword didn't actually sell that well when it initially came out. 3, 4 million units. Uh, it was at the end of the Wii's life cycle. And frankly, uh, the control scheme was actually a little controversial. Even though people were massively looking forward to true one-to-one -one motion controls that wasn't that many people actually more people wanted a more traditional controlling zelda game uh and something that was uh a little bit more open because skyward sword also had the controversy of where you had this giant open sky area but there really wasn't as much to do in it and then you would have to drop down in these individual zones on the bottom or it felt like the world was a little disconnected Personally, I really love this game, and it has some, one of my favorite, well, it actually has my favorite dungeon of all time in it, um, and it has some of my favorite puzzles of all time, and my favorite combat in the series, believe it or not, as well. Even though um, the combat isn't uh, super, super difficult, I wish that the motion controls would have caught on, because we would have had probably one more game like it that could have perfected on it and offered a bigger challenge. But either way, um, I, I would love to see this Skyward Sword listing on uh, Amazon UK be true. And uh, I want to see them uh, not just HDFI, but maybe add, add, add a little bit of new content. I, I kept trying to think they keep adding these little things uh, to games. I mean, even with, uh, you know, uh, the, the Wind Waker, right? You know, they added the message bottle system. They changed up the inventory, uh, obviously. 
Uh, and with Twilight Princess HD, you know, they did things like add extra difficulty modes uh, with the Ganon Amiibo. So, or the Ganondorf Amiibo. So, I, I feel like they could do a lot more than what they already did with Skyward Sword. Uh, and, and I don't know if increased difficulty mode is it. It did have a hero mode. So, I'm not sure if increased difficulty modes would, would be the answer. I'm not sure if there's like a hint system or if they add just straight up new content to the game. Uh, I don't know if there's any scrapped content that maybe was, you know, close to completion, but they never actually threw it out there that maybe they could throw out there. Um, cause I don't think HDFI in this game is going to be that much work. They don't need to rework the art style. It looks gorgeous as is in HD, just like literally with up textures. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this is done. Now it's interesting. We're seeing this listing because there actually was another thing that Nintendo did. They filed a bunch of trademarks, uh, for like Zelda toothpaste and Zelda merchandise and all this stuff. Because upcoming is the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. Now, I didn't talk about this trademark. This is something that actually happened. Because the same thing happened for Mario last year, heading into this year, which is the 35th anniversary of Mario. And we've been wondering, well, you know, is anything going to come out of this? And sure, we technically have already had games like Paper Mario come out. And we've technically had some merchandise with the Lego Mario set. So you could argue that we did get something out of the merchandising and, and whatever uh, Mario trademark that they filed last year heading into this year. And we presume, anyways, the 35th anniversary Mario collection is a legit and we're getting it um, maybe even announced by the end of this month. So uh, people are uh, uh, presuming that now that they're doing this for Zelda, that means next year would have been the year that we could have got Skyward Sword HD, that we could have got Twilight Princess HD, that we could have got... Um, you know, whatever, the Wind Waker HD ported over as well. Or a collection pad, maybe Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask get brought in the HD. Maybe Breath of the Wild 2 comes out next year. Uh, and obviously there could be, now that Nintendo's working with LEGO, there could be Zelda Legos or something. Uh, and so that's all still a possibility. Um, but it's interesting to see this listing now, because usually when you see a listing like this now, it means this game is coming this year. Um, and if you know, it's not the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So it's possible that maybe Nintendo doesn't have any quote unquote new games to come this year. And they're going to really rely on Mario and then maybe toss out the Zelda game, uh, to try, cause maybe it's ready to go. Maybe Skyward Sword, uh, HD or whatever they decide to call it. Deluxe edition is actually ready to go. Uh, and they were going to wait till next year, but instead they're going to toss it out this holiday along with the Mario stuff and hope that, you know, 35th anniversary Mario All-Star Collection Pack and uh, Skyward Sword can actually carry the holiday. And it's possible it might because a lot of you gay people never even played Skyward Sword. I, a lot of people haven't even heard of Skyward Sword. Uh, when I bring it up in conversations with other gamers that you know are aware of Breath of the Wild, they're like, what the hell is Skyward Sword? And it's going to be interesting because it's a very different game than Breath of the Wild. So I don't know how uh, Breath of the Wild fans are actually going to react to Skyward Sword, especially if they think that this is the next big Zelda game, when it's clearly not. Um, I would like to see if they announce this, they remind people of Breath of the Wild 2, so people don't, don't go thinking that Skyward Sword is like the next big Zelda game. Because uh, for some people it will be, because it will be like a brand new game. But I don't know, that's just me. I uh, am very curious what you guys have to think about Skyward Sword in general. Did you enjoy it if you did play it? Uh, do you wish you played it back in the day? Did you hate the, con the motion controls? Did you love the motion controls? Uh, some people had issues with the motion controls not working. I wasn't one of those people. And it was for everything. It wasn't just the sword play, by the way. You, you used the motion controls to fly the beetle around. Uh, you used the motion controls, which is an item in the game you, that you can use to grab things. Um, there were motion controls were used for the bow and arrow. It worked a lot like Wii Sports Resort. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of uh, motion control action in this game, and I loved every little bit of it. And I never had signal interference or anything. Everything just worked. Uh, they did include a way to like center things uh, because if you like pull uh, pull out your sword or pull out uh, the bow specifically uh, at a angle that you're holding the controller that feels off, you kind of need to recenter it. 
I don't know. Personally, I just adjusted to it and, you know, whatever. If I was pointing at the ground, I could literally see the movement on screen. So it really wasn't that big a deal to me. Uh, but I don't know. I am excited as hell because I love freaking Legend of Zelda. I love Skyward Sword. It's one of my favorite games. I thought it was going to get ported over last generation since Wiimotes literally worked at Wii U. And we got two other HD ports of Zelda games. But you know what? I'll take it. If, if this is Nintendo's plan the rest of the year, if they're just HD portifying some of their greatest games of all time from, from uh, the Zelda series here and from uh, the Mario series, I'm good with that. I, I feel like I'll give them a pass with just relying on ports uh for the rest of 2020 as long as they bring it hard in 2021 now we get to 2021 and we're still not getting major massive new releases like an animal crossing but more than one of those per year then i'm going to start to wonder what the hell is going on since all their development teams work on one platform i know covid obviously played a big role in it but whatever skyward sword hd potentially coming this year uh that's exciting stuff and remember there has been something zelda every single year dating back to gosh a link between worlds i think once a link between worlds came on a 3ds there's been some sort of zelda release every single year and we have not had a zelda game come out yet this year we had links awakening last year we haven't had a zelda anything this year so i guess skyward sword might be fitting that bill as well so that's something to consider as well that nintendo has been doing this every year anyways i am nathaniel robert gents from the center prime thank you so much for tuning in be sure to enter our giveaway by liking subscribing hitting that bell icon commenting on this video doing it on other videos as well and hey let's get to 50k because it's going to be great for everyone involved all right folks i will catch each and every single one of you in the next video